Yes, children. Today we are going to construct angles with the help of a compass, a ruler, pencil and eraser. Okay. So first take compass, put a small pencil inside it just like this and always try to maintain this distance between the pen and the pencil. Hmm. Small distance will not make good angles. So distance should be this much. Larger you can do, but this is the proper appropriate measurement, more or less this much distance between the pen and the pencil. Now, first we are going to draw 60 degree. Uh, do you know you can draw angles or you can construct angles with the help of a compass, which are the multiples of 15 degree, like 15 degree you can draw, or you can construct with this compass, 15 twos are 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 75 degree, 90 degree, 105, 120, 135, then 150, 175, 100, up to this much, because these are the multiples of 15 so you can draw, uh, rather you can construct with the help of a compass. And rest angles like 95 degree, 107 degree, 125 degree, which are not multiples of 15 degree, you can draw with the help of a protractor. So first we are doing 60 degree, which is a multiple of 15. Yes, 15 fours are 60. So with the help of a compass, we are going to construct angle 60 degree how first draw a ray name it bc any measurement you can take bc 5 cm 6 cm as you wish now keep the pin at point b compass at point b and draw a semicircle yes fine Without moving the distance between this pencil and the compass, after you have drawn a semicircle, keeping a particular distance between the pencil and the pen, don't move it. Without moving it, keep the compass here at this point and draw a small arc. This is your 60 degree. Again, you keep it here and draw another arc without disturbing the distance between the pencil and the pen, then it is 120 degree. 60, 120, again if you draw one more arc, you will get from here is 180 degree. So you know a straight angle is equal to 180 degree, 60 plus 60 plus 60. Only one condition that the distance between the compass and the pencil should not be disturbed. It should be seen when you are drawing drawing this semicircle and when you are drawing this small arc keeping the compass at point mm, this one if i name it d then d anything but we don't name this point okay so we have got our 60 degree first arc 60 degree join these two points and how will you join you see i can see these points so now let's join this two point. Try to keep the arms of the angle of equal length. So 60 degree. Answer angle A, B, C is equal to 60 degree. Fine. Now already I have told you that how to draw 120. So let's do it fast. 120 before we forget. How to do? Yes, so 120 degree, same way, fast. First, ray. Now, let's change the name. Y, Z. Keep the compass here. Semicircle. Just please don't disturb these two. Distance should be same. Keep your compass here, one arc. 60 done. Again, keep your compass here, another arc, 120 done. 
first I'm keeping point here my compass then I'm keeping here yes here I'm keeping drawing here I'm keeping and drawing only one thing to remember when you are drawing this semicircle this distance should be equal when you are drawing these small arcs done fine join these two points to get your required angle and that is 120 degree it is an obtuse angle we know isn't it so x y z answer angle x y z is equal to 120 degree Now, perfectly you can see. Keep practicing, then you can draw much better than me. Now, let's do 30 degree. 30 degree means half of 60 degree. So, first we need to draw 60 degree, then we will bisect it. Bisect. Bisect means we will divide 60 degree into two equal halves. Let's do it. First 60 degree, you have already learned how to draw. Y, Z. Compass at point Y. A semicircle without moving. And disturbing the distance between the pen and the pencil a small arc on that semicircle so this is my 60 degree join these two points properly otherwise it may become 61 or 59 so be careful done so X Y Z I have got but this is not my required angle. My required angle is 30 degree. So now let's bisect this 60 degree. How? Bisect means always keep your compass on these two points. And draw arcs. How? Let's see. You can now increase the distance. Now we are going to bisect these 60 degree. How children? We will keep our compass here at this point and here at this point. Okay. Then we will bisect this 60 degree. One. Again keep here and draw another arc. Got it? Now join these two. It is your 30 degree. 60 degree is divided into two equal halves and we have got 30 degree see this and this equal so this is 30 degree this is 30 degree name it uh, x y z o suppose if i name it o then answer angle x y o is equal to angle O Y Z. See X Y O O Y Z is equal to thirty degree. Done. Uh, next is fifteen degree. Fifteen degree means half of 30 degree so just now we have done 30 degree which is half of 60 degree so first let's draw 30 degree once more line segment ray b c compass at point b
now here at this point so that we get 60 degree without disturbing the distance between the pen and the pencil then keep your pencil here at this point can you see this point and this point why because we are bisecting 60 degree so that we get 30 degree done now join this two points and we get our 30 degree since 30 degree is not the required angle so we have drawn with dotted lines name it abc so this is 30 degree but what do you want we want 15 degree and how do you bisect these two points why this is 30 degree so we are bisecting 30 degree we are uh, dividing 30 degree into two equal halves by drawing arcs. How? Keep the compass here and keep the compass here. Can you see this one and this one? These two deep dots. I have kept my compass at now I have got my 15 degree join this with proper ray name it D so this is my 15 degree 15 degree by bisecting 30 degree I have got so answer angle A B D angle D B C is equal to 15 degree Next, let's do 90 degree. So, I'm doing now 90 degree. How? Let's see. Line segment, make it ray, B, C. Semi arc, semi circle. Now, first arc means 60 degree, second arc means 120 degree. Okay, now again you keep your compass at this point and this point. Means actually this is 60 degree and now you are bisecting this 60 degree because keeping compass here and here and you will get 30 degree then because you are bisecting 60. So 60 plus 30 will become 90 degree. So now keep your compass at this point, keep your compass at this point, done, join this two points and you have got your 90 degree children. It seems difficult at the first attempt but after doing two twice or thrice it will be just a smooth ride answer angle ABC is equal to 90 degree may I repeat it okay first uh, la ray keep your compass here draw a semicircle then as you know for 60 degree what do you do you keep your compass here without moving the distance between or disturbing the distance between the pen and the pencil isn't it means this distance and this distance will be same so now keep your compass here and draw an arc then further keep your compass here and draw another arc so you have got 60 degree plus 60 degree that means total 120 degree now these two arcs you have got you bisect these two because this is once uh, this is 60 degree angle and if i bisect i get 30 degree so 60 plus 30 makes 90 degree then i have kept my compass here and draw an arc here i have kept drawn another arc and joined